Touring the Tower of London will take a few hours as you walk through all the different buildings. William the Conqueror built the Tower of London in the 11th century. The Tower of London was a place of worship for the Catholic kings until Henry VIII's split with Catholicism and thus embroiling it in anti-Catholic history. One of the main and publicly visible chapels is St. Peter ad Vincula, which was built by King Henry VIII and is still used for worship today. Many people are buried in the chapel, as the list on the wall records. Most notably are two Catholic saints, St. Thomas More and St. John Fisher. Both are said to be buried in a mass grave, presumably behind this door. The two saints opposed the agenda of King Henry VIII and were held captive in the bell tower, and after a time of imprisonment, both were martyred for their adherence to the Catholic faith. Another chapel in one of the towers is the Chapel of St. John, also known as the Conqueror's Chapel. It is the original chapel and a place where William the Conqueror would hear Mass. The Salt Tower was used as a prison for those who opposed the king and posed a threat to his reign. One person was imprisoned because he imported a Catholic book. The Jesuit Henry Walpole was another such prisoner too. He and other prisoners left carvings on the wall so that people would never forget they were there. Other Catholic carvings included the Ave Maria and the Wounded Foot of Christ. Two other chapels can be found while touring the Tower of London. King Henry III and his son, King Edward I, were among the devout kings. One chapel is built where King Henry III died. The presence of these private chapels is a reminder of the importance the faith played in the life of the king. The Tower of London is a place rich with Catholic history, of Catholic kings, but also a part of the story of Catholic persecution that has reigned since the time of King Henry VIII.